Uh, this match review comes to us from Irish Pumpkin, who is a uh, frequent uh, submitter to the match reviews. Uh, mostly likes Rush characters, but is uh, I decided to switch that up. They have uh, uh, 1.9k hours in the game of Dead by Daylight, so they are almost uh, twice the amount that I expect most people to know general fundamentals of Dead by Daylight, so they got that down pat. Um, like I said, usually you play Rush killers like Blight, Oni, um, Wesker, but you're on Knight today, which is kind of a switch up for your usual play style. Knight recently got an update that uh, did not, like, it helped him in some ways and brought him down a lot in others. Generally kind of just like a middle of the pack killer. Nothing too uh, super strong or anything like that. Uh, your add-ons, you're using the uh, the aura add-on, which doesn't really narrow it down, to be honest, because almost all of his purples became <laughs> aura add-ons. Uh, uh, this is the one for Assassin specifically uh, to get aura reading while, uh, or like the moment Assassin is plopped down, um, which helps you kind of end your chases quicker. Uh, you have Call to Arms as well, which maintains itself as a really, really good add-on, even post-rework. Uh, a lot of their add-ons stayed well, a very good post-rework, like Dried Horse Meat and Map of the Realm uh, as well. Uh, so those are your other options that you are looking at. Uh, your build, once again, I've noticed that uh, we've talked about this before, is that like you run egregiously strong builds. Um, I feel like you could pro like you don't need to run all that. And I say this every single time. <laughs> like you're running quad slowdown, and I think that um, especially sometimes like the Oni match you had, where like you have a hard time finding people, at least one info perk will probably help you. Um, and that's a pitfall you seem to run into sometimes. So I would maybe use at least a one info perk, especially if you're already using pop, might as well throw nowhere to hide or something on there just to get a little bit of info. So you don't end up in situations where your pressure is interrupted by not being able to find people. Okay. Bang clunky man and clunky man in armor. I find somebody fairly early. Okay, so you're choosing to go for split pressure. Uh, uh, you kind of got a little indecisive there, unfortunately. I think that is going to affect things. Uh, yeah, you do get the hit there. Cloud Arms is also really nice, because if you're somebody who really liked the... Um, the, uh, like the drop a guard play style. It helps you get through the path drawing quicker. So it's kind of like the closest thing you can get to that these days. I know what you're doing. You're waiting for him to drop this pallet so you can just burn it. Yeah. That's unfortunate that the homie came. Yeah, I just stay on him. Oh. You're choosing to not go for any down here. Hmm. Okay. You're up the gen pop. Luckily, he runs back into you. That could have been really disastrous. Because you soaked... You soaked over a minute and a half into uh, a chase and didn't get it down. Um, that was pretty time-consuming. I like it you're on a 2-4 map. So Surge is really, really good here. Um, that is still regressing. Good. She's stuck here. Yeah, position yourself over here. Oh. Okay, you... What you could have done here is since this room is, like, kind of like a big corner, would position yourself about, like, right here and put a, like, a chase guard down and then have that follow them around. That way you could... Uh, sandwich her. I know sandwiching is way, way not as good as it used to be uh, because of the decreased timer as you get closer to them, but like it still applies a lot of pressure and helps end your chases quicker, so I would have chased them down with the guard here, not just waiting for the pallet drop and gone for the Karn thing. The Karn break. You don't even have a hit on that Sable yet, so don't worry about it. Going for the tunnel at five gens. And I don't need to. You're not really in a position where they have a lot of pressure on you yet. So I'm not sure about that as a choice. Well, you've got him stuck here because I can't go to that other room. Might have BS, so you gotta be careful. No, luckily for you, he does not. I had somebody save their DS for death hook on me the other day. That that was wild. I never see people do that. <laughs> I was shook. <laughs> I'm like, what? Hello? Ah! 
I would go kick that gen with pop. Yeah, you saw that gen being worked on, but you don't kick it with pop. You should definitely go do that, because that's one that they have a lot of progress on, too. That hitter. Yeah, I kind of like this arm drop on Nemesis. Hey, go ahead and DS me. We're just going to fall right back into it anyway. Yeah, you should pop that before your pop runs out. This is like, this happens a lot. I'm not saying with this player in particular, but this happens a lot when people like run like a bajillion slowdown is they often like don't even get the most value out of the bajillion slowdown that they brought. <laughs> you know, the bring quad slowdown be like, I have the best build possible to win. And then they don't even like use some of them. <laughs> like, right, like that gen, you could go over and pop like right now and set them back pretty severely. But you're just, that's like the second time you've had pop walked by the gen and it's like not even like hot to kick it. I don't know why you're tunneling in so early. Like the the game is definitely not in a position that you would re be required to do that yet. Yeah, they're giving me a lot of free hits here for no reason. They should not be doing that. You should hit her. You're not though. Where are you going? Yeah, they didn't even go that way. You should definitely take the hits there, giving you, especially since you have three stacks of pain rose. She's doing the smart thing here by forcing you to at least pick so Ace can get some time to get away. Unfortunately, there's no pain rose hooks nearby. But at least you get a pop use regardless. If you remember to use it. At least you do have Ace Death Oak for later. Yeah, I don't know what this ace did to you and why you're so aggressive and trying to tunnel them, hard tunnel them out, but like... I don't know. Like, you are not in a position where you need somebody dead yet. And honestly, with the pain rest, like you just saw, you can be getting a lot of pain rest hooks and grinding the game to a halt. I think you're lucky that they're not, like, all together. Because, like, if they were all together and, like, a good team, they would have uh, one person body blocking, the other two just cranking. Hey, Levi, how's it going? How's my favorite build name? How are you? <laughs> That's so like the ad just, just played when you said that. Yeah, I feel like tunneling somebody really early is just, uh... <laughs> right into a raid! Right into a raid! Oh, that's unfortunate. Fuck. Yeah, you've had a really long chase with her. You did. You disembark from chase a little too quickly, which is weird. Cause like the last match review we had was with the Wesker game, where you committed to like a a singular hit with somebody for like minutes upon minutes. So it's like you're kind of having the opposite problem in this game, where you're just like you don't want to commit to any chase despite having. Slow down that only goes off off getting the down. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hey, if you're a Xenomorph, you get that hit there. <laughs> we love the Xenomorph. This is what you run into with the universal cooldown, is you're not really encouraged to use Oh my god. Yeah, with bro. with that, what you should have done is like because of the new timer, you can't like it's a little bit harder to sandwich fuel. It's still possible, but it's a lot harder. So when you're in this situation, uh Assassin was coming around and forcing her into the freezer. So what you should have done is you you should have ran to the left while she runs to the right. Uh that way if she chose to go out the freezer vault like she did, uh, you would be right there and you were going to get the down. But you decide, unfortunately, to run the exact same way your guard is running and kind of double up on the pressure from the same side. So she could just gets to keep going. Hey, Camdy, welcome back. Oh my god, bro. 
The match is just going. This is our first one. Oh. Yeah, I'm not talking about like at the top. You all at the top when you all like, oh, yeah, you can hit that. It doesn't. I think I'm gonna tell you something. Hey, Tyre. Welcome in, friends. Hope you're well. I wanna tell you something. Um, just just from what I see of like the 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 match reviews that you send in, you don't like this. This might be just like like maybe like I don't know. How do I phrase this in a way that is like conducive to what I'm saying and gets my point across? Um. It doesn't seem like you enjoy extremely frustrating, intense games, but by trying to tunnel somebody out the gate and running quad slowdown, like that is what pumps your MMR and continuously puts you in a cycle of having very intense competitive games. Like it seems when you face situations like this, where like a team is bringing the same energy you're bringing, you don't have a good time like consistently. Like, every match review that you've sent in, besides, like, maybe one, you've been, like, really frustrated when the survivors play in this similar intensity to the way you do. Um, but, like, like I said, you're essentially always boosting your MMR by always, like, playing in a super aggressive way and always running quad slowdown and always, like, trying to win at all costs. Um, so you're never, you're essentially just always pushing your MMR. So you're always going to be, most of the time, running into people that also play that way. Or you're going to be predisposing yourself to uh, facing people that play that way. I mean, like, I run, like, technically I run, quote-unquote, three slowdown on Xenomorph, right? Usually there's a caveat to it where, like, one is really, really weak. Or um, it's like a, like the, like the hook everybody build. It's a, like, I play that build but I don't tunnel or camp anybody because the whole points go after everyone. That technically has three to slow down because it's Gift of Pain, Pain Res, and um, Gift of Pain, Pain Res, and Grim Embrace. Yeah, so. Yeah, I just think that, like, it's just, like, a word of caution um, that, like, you're going to continue to be in this cycle of constantly having frustrating games if you're constantly, like, playing in a way and also using builds and loadouts that are uh, i don't want to say like like they essentially like curb the game in your favor <laughs> they're, they're they're giving you a very very heavy advantage um so you're going to be constantly putting yourself in a position where your mr keeps going up and up and up and matches like these continue to happen so just like you know if, it, if that's what you want and like the frustration is worth it for you that's that's fine right if that's worth it then, you know it's your own business like you know you do you do what you enjoy but like I'm just saying, like you seem pretty frustrated in these moments, so um, it may be worth considering. Like maybe, maybe I don't do those things just for like the long term of not being so frustrated at the game. So, you can smack your guards if you don't like their placement. To get rid of him. I haven't seen you cancel a guard placement that wasn't helpful once. You just kind of let it hang out. <laughs> if you had had your pain rest stacks out earlier, when you were going after some people that were like in your face trying to body block for days, this match wouldn't be getting as close as it is. But like, because you were so, like, aggressively, like, trying to get Ace out as soon as possible, you passed up on a lot of your slowdown, and that includes the pop kicks. Like, they, like, you, like you've been passing up on that, too. So, painters and pop kicks, you've been passing up on. So, you, most of your slowdown's happening at, like, the end of the game. That's probably not going to work. Yeah, you should just hit him. Luckily, he's stuck here, so as soon as your cooldown comes off, he's just kind of toast. <laughs> but you vault instead. Okay, he got stuck, thankfully. You're good. 
And locker vacuum. Still in the game of 2024. <laughs> For some reason. It's great. It's totally great. You love it. Yeah, okay, somebody had two gens, which is good. Give up the hustle. Walker vacuum is painful. The fact that this has been a please kick this. Okay, thank you. I was like, why? Please pop the gun. This was something you've been forgetting most of the game. Yeah, the fact that like locker vacuum has been an issue in the game for so long, so long, and they just like have not adjusted is silly. Ooh, bounce. This is dangerous to commit to this chase when you know that gen is nearly done. There are multiple people there. Yeah, you realize it kind of late, but yeah, you do. Yeah, you realize a little late, but you do realize like maybe I should not do that. You kind of like. Uh, yeah, that's why you need to realize that quicker because like now they're gonna they hear you coming to the terrace and like book it and play safe Why did you do that? <laughs> yeah, you put that guard to go after her and then just like like immediately hit her, so it's like that. You just put your guard on cooldown. Okay, good call out on where she was going. Yeah, you're doing the right thing here. Oh, no, nope, you're leaving. It seems like you get, like, really, like, frazzled? And just, like, panic. You make a lot of, like, really panicked decisions when under a lot of pressure. Is that dead her? Or did she just not do anything since... I didn't see if she was on the gen. May have been off the record. Yeah, that, 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 that probably needs to go. Is that the perfect dead her? Yeah. That was... I didn't even see the animation. Well, you know they have a gen that's really close. That they know they want. And the people that keep guarding it, no pun intended, are injured, so... That's pretty helpful. Good gosh. I must say, there's nothing she can do here. <laughs> Either you get the M1 or your guard does. I would hook her quickly, go down, pop that gen that you know they want. They send the guard to harass them early. Good. Even if she gets knocked off the gen, like, okay. She's not paying attention, thankfully. Okay, you get the surge, thankfully. That's another pop pass. The game is like Knight's best map. I can kind of see that. Knight, the the meatpacking place where there's maps where like, if you have really good anti-pallet utility, like the game is mostly pallets. Um, so. Like, with Xeomorph, if I put it in B tier, because, like, you can- There's so many shots you can do up and over and around the loops that it's like... Eh. Yeah. Um... But if you're somebody who does not have... You know, utility like that... Even somebody, like, who's typically considered strong, like, Wesker, can really struggle here. Because it's all about, can I get around pallets easy? Yeah. Not necessarily just how strong you are. Yeah, this gen should have been popped. But thankfully you got somebody dead. Why? Take off pop goes the weasel. You don't use it. I am being dead ass. Take take that perk off. You don't use it.
You just don't. You put Gift of Pain or something else. Use Grim Embrace. Things that don't require you to actively think about what you're doing because you just, you have not used like 90% of your pop uses. You just don't use this perk. So just don't bring it. You might as well be playing with Pain Res and Surge by itself. Next Ruin with, with, with Knight specifically? Yeah. Generally, I don't recommend that perk. But Knight's ability to push people off gens just kind of like instantly gets by you with ease. That perk's still not too great. <laughs> in 2024. A lot of people are like, no, trust. It's better now. And not really. Please kick this. Thank you. If you had done this earlier, we're not, it would not be that close, but. Thankfully, you remembered sooner, or later rather than not at all. Arn can't really chase anymore. Not really the chase character. Oh, you assume got the banner? I respect the mind game, it just didn't work. Jailer's a chaser? I think... I don't know. It's like Jailer's kind of just like... I don't know. I, I feel like Assassin's is still the best way to go. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of struggling, especially with now the universe cooldown, why you would pick Jailer in a lot of situations. Like, he kind of seems to be the odd one out right now. Would that be a, a pixie question? Well, Face of the Darkness is only just like a scream, right? So I don't think you get a lot of rune value with that. And Beaver kind of flips off back and forth between like, do rap, rap gens get affected by things? Um, I don't know how its interaction with, uh, um, Ruin is. And his best to sandwich with. Oh, is he? He's the one that I've been, like, after the post rework, I've been trying to figure out, like, what we use him for. Was like besides just having, was like, like I guess being the best scout, quote unquote. Like that, I don't know what you use them for. So that doesn't work. It's if it's working as intended, <laughs> because there's plenty of times that like gen blocking is supposed to stop regression. It it's happened anyways. Just depends on the patch. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Either way, even if it is working this patch, I would not put your eggs in the basket of something that is. Inconsistent. It only works with a bug, so yeah. Okay, she dies either way. Yeah, she doesn't live no matter what she does here. Because you cut her off. Can I sound that quiet there? Usually they're not very audible during their games. That's just kind of how they are. At least the matcheries that they send me. Jesus, bro. The sweat fucking fest. I'm going to say this. And this is like, once again, I kind of had this in the middle of the game, is that sweat meets sweat. That's what happens. I know this is this is not with any negative connotation. This is not with any sort of like this is bad. And I want to make that clear. You sweat. You sweat very hard, very hard. You bring quad slowdown in the best add ons just about every game that you send me. You sweat. So let's make that clear. You sweat. Are you correct in identifying they played really hard too? Yeah. But like, this is the pot and the kettle, right? I think it would be, I think it's, 
And it's what I brought myself back to in the middle of this match. Is like, if them sweating like that frustrates and upsets you, you're doing it all the time and inviting that by cranking your MMR by always running quad slow down and try harding yourself. Um, like you were literally trying to initially get Ace out of the game like immediately. Luckily, his team like showed up for him, which is great. I'm glad they did that. Um, but like you, you play that way too, just on the killer end of things. So like, like I said in the middle of the video, it's just like a like a warning, maybe something to think about is if that kind of gameplay frustrates you, you are inviting it by playing the way you do. Because people, a lot of people, I'm one of them. I match energy. Survivor killer, doesn't matter what role. If you start sweating, I start sweating. And a lot of people click in and realize like, oh, oh, this guy's going hard. They go hard back, especially if they're comms into three or four man swift. Like... Yeah, that, uh, that, uh, the, no, <laughs> that's, that's not a thing. So, um, you got to think about if that's like the future you want in the game is like, is you're, you're going to continually run, uh, into people. Um, you're going to continually run into people that try that hard right back at you. Um, so if that is not something that you enjoy, um, Maybe consider not trying so hard to yourself. I'm like, think of the glitch. Considering your future in the game of like, do I want to continue to have these sweaty games and sweaty matches? Uh, in terms of your main takeaways here, uh, first off, main takeaway, uh, take off Pop Goes the Weasel. You don't use it. You got some use out of it, but most of the time you had Pop Active, it rolled all the way down. You don't use this perk. If you're really uh, like attached to running quad slowdown, Grim Embrace, Gift of Pain. You're already, you're already hooking people for pain res. Get some value out of that. But actively something that you have to like go deliver, it doesn't seem to mesh with your play style very well. Like you just like, you don't get pop value. So don't bring it. Um, I think in this game, you're very indecisive. And I think the problem with that which is kind of the opposite of the, what happened in the West Great match, is that, like, when you have three slowdown that only function off of getting the down, and you just keep constantly leaving chase, it's like you flip-flopped. You went from, like, okay, I'm in this West Great game. I'm going to commit to, like, a two-minute chase. And now you're, like, you're dropping chase so quickly that you're getting no value out of your slowdown. Um, essentially, perks are just a way to... Uh, save time because you know match time is gen time we always say that every single one of these perks are just a way to save time that's why slowdown are the best perks for killer because they quite literally either pause or make the survivors play the time they've already invested in the game all over again by requesting the gen um, it saves time uh, that's why a lot of chase perks are often good runner-ups for perks you should run alongside slowdown because they save time in chase dbd is just a, ga a game of time management at the end of the day um so the fact that you were just kind of like not getting it, any downs meant that your time savers were all just kind of like they were just kind of just chilling. Um, so that was not not advantageous. Definitely not advantageous. Um, so you kind of had the opposite problem here where you were like just dropping chase so quickly that you weren't getting value out of your slowdown at all. Um, and that in indecision was uh, not um, too great. Um, I think the final thing, I think the final thing I would say in terms of your main takeaways is a very nice specific thing. I think there was a lot of situations where you could have, um, when the guard was like attracted to someone, ooh, made that sound really like saucy, uh, when it was, uh, <laughs> when the guard had aggroed to someone, um, that you could have, uh, pinned somebody down and went the opposite direction to try and scissor them, sandwich them. Scissor also doesn't sound great doing great right now <laughs> but um you kind of just like a lot of times you would chase the same direction your guard would and the whole like even even post uh nerf for night the whole point is like either you go this way and you get hit or you go the other way and you get hit um so um the fact that you kept chasing the same direction meant that like that, that, that defeats the purpose because the whole point is you are, you're pressuring the chase from two different sides and leaving them without an option but if you're just chasing from the same side it's my it might as well have been just chase being chased by two killers at the same time like it's not like they have to make any new or 
or stressful decisions in that in that situation. Um, so. Yeah. So those would be my three main takeaways. But I would seriously consider um, if you want to continue having games of this intense quality because you are inviting it by always sweating, always trying to get somebody out early, always running quad slowdown, that sort of thing. So.